Don't worry, I'll ask you a question to get you started. All right, we are now joined by the driver of the number 19 Oakmont Management Group Ford, Daniel Hemrick, who finished third in today's Toyota Tundra 250. Daniel, why don't you go ahead and talk about uh, what you saw there on the last lap? Yeah, it got pretty exciting there. Um, you know, obviously, all you hope for at the end of a deal like this, especially as many cautions we had in the race, is to have an opportunity. And uh, all my guys at BKR gave me that shot. We had a good enough Ford F-150 to keep ourselves up front, and when we got put back in traffic, we could still drive back to the front. Just unfortunately, we didn't uh, couldn't capitalize there. I tried to do everything I could to get the outside of the nine. He did everything he could to keep him behind, and ultimately, it gave him a surge to get out um, out front. So. Congratulations to him, and uh, man, I'm telling you, it's, we're close. We're building on it. We're getting better every week. It's just a matter of uh, capitalizing and getting these guys in victory lane. Awesome. We're now going to open it up to questions for Daniel. If you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll bring the mic to you. State your name and affiliation. Go ahead, Kenny. Kenny Bruce with NASCAR.com. Daniel, can you kind of take us through what happened on that final restart there? <laughs> I'm going <laughs> yeah, to have to go back and watch it myself. Uh, all I know, I was trying to do everything I could to get my guys in victory lane. It didn't shake out. And the way these trucks are, as soon as you get side by side, everybody stalls out. If you're single truck behind you, you get such a big run. And um, that's just the that's just the you know the equal of, of what we're doing here. We try to all put ourselves in position to win the race. And when everybody starts fanning out like that, you're just uh, along for the ride and hope your road moves when it needs to and you can clear a guy when you need to. Um, fortunately, we did were able to clear those guys. I'm not sure what we were three, four, five wide. They're getting in the three of the last lap. But I'm um, just fortunate to come out of the thing with a, a top three finish and hopefully build on it go Dover. We are also joined by our second place finisher in today's Toyota Tundra 250, the driver of the number 88 Ideal Door Menards Toyota, Matt Crafton. Matt, why don't you just take us through that final lap and the restart for you, too? Uh, it was very interesting. Just like, uh, wow, I'm kind of watching it right here. Um, wow. Wow. I'd say, whew. Not good. Um, <laughs> That's huge. He smoked her down in there, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Not clear. <Yeah. laughs> ah, um, it was just like on the restart. It was the front row. If the second guy or the second row pushed the leader, the second place guy, they would get such huge runs. That's why I ended up losing the lead and got uh, the 17 got in my left rear just because the nine pushed the 17 out in the lead. And then I'm like, okay, we'll be all right. We'll drive back by him here in a minute. And then we got hit. And then that last restart was just chaos. I shoved it three wide in the middle, and I'm like, yeah, this probably isn't the way to go. <laughs> and so I lifted this a little bit and got it back to the bottom and got a decent run. But the bottom had been terrible early all night, and I got a decent run because everybody kind of got loose and checked up and went up in front of him, thankfully for yeah, me. I appreciate it. <laughs> all right, we'll start down here. Uh, Sean Rooney, Dos Mundos newspaper here in Kansas City for both of you. Um, do you remember the last time that you've been in a race where that it goes under caution with within the first lap like it did tonight when uh, when when Rico Abreu when his truck ate, ate the wall uh, I mean there's a lot of things that happened tonight I can't recall to be honest with you or when the last time it happened it was just chaos all night so uh, the way it started was definitely not surprising the way it finished it, it kept its intensity from uh, lap one to the end and like I said it's fortunate to be sitting up here <laughs> considering all the chaos if you watch most of the Kansas races, it's just, this place is just very interesting because the new asphalt and hard tire, and it catches some of the rookies off guard because when you drive down there on the first first lap into the first corner, they have such little downforce compared to what you've had in practice. And I know it just caught Rico off guard, and like I've been telling him, I mean, you just kind of have to tiptoe on that first lap, and I know he just probably got a little excited and didn't have the downforce. But if you look at races in the past here, I bet two out of the last four, there's been a caution on the first lap. Any additional questions for Daniel or Matt? Kenny? Yeah, I've got one for Matt. On the, uh, when you guys are out there rolling around under caution and everybody's worried about gas, fuel mileage, or stuff, I mean, were you close to running out at all before you got to pit road? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were, I, was, I was waiting for it to run out of gas. I was, I was actually hollering at my spotter to talk to the 98 spotter. So if I did run out, at least he could push me and not go a lot down like the double zero did. He ran out and didn't have anybody to push him back. He had to wait for a tow truck. And I just kept shutting it off, shutting it off, on and off, and kept loading the box up with fuel as much as I could so it would take off. And I was sitting there kept watching the fuel pressure gauge. And it takes a long time when you fire them up, and it, it's like zero, two, three, and you're like, okay, we've got a little bit of fuel pressure all right for a minute. 
but it's nerve wracking. And then I'm like, I know you can open the damn pits by now. <laughs> it's just like, and we kept driving around it like pit road, please open, please open. And it's they said, yeah, it's <laughs> half the field is going to be out of gas here before too long. Go to Chris in the back. Chris Knight, catchfence.com for both you guys. Uh, what's your outlook on going to Dover next week and how do you guys feel about the truck race, truck series getting some momentum with three straight races? Yeah, I mean, obviously for our team, you know, going back to a racetrack where Brad Keselowski racing won at last year and I've been strong every race there in the past and um, to be constantly building on my chemistry, my crew chief and my entire crew and being our, uh, you know, our fourth race together now and we have momentum and that's for sure and, and I know we're getting closer and, um, you know, all you can do is put yourself in position and, and we're doing everything we can. We got to clean up some stuff. Uh, we had a couple issues on pit road, you know, not anybody's fault, but just the making of our product. And uh, we just found ourselves in a box, kind of we kept losing track position there. But fortunately, the guys built a fast truck and we were able to get back to the front just about every time. So um, to, to have that kind of speed, to be able to pass trucks, that's a huge confidence builder in this uh, running this series. And, and when you know you can do that, it gives you confidence going to the next one. So look forward to Dover and look forward to being the very next week and not waiting another three weeks. Five. Five weeks. Yeah, like there last week. Well, last one's <laughs> five weeks. Anything else for these two? What? No, I'm. That's honestly uh, probably my second favorite racetrack. To be totally honest, I mean it's always, always a blast. You go there, I love it. Love going there, and you actually get the lift. I mean, tonight you could run so many laps wide open. Glad you could. <laughs> <laughs> like when you're out in the lead, you could run. Like when I was leading, I probably ran I mean, half that run wide open, and it was just like. Uh, and I mean, it's, it's great racing for a little while, but I wish you had a little bit less downforce on them and they would move around a little bit more, to be honest. All right. Well, Daniel and Matt, thanks for joining us. Congratulations on your runs tonight. Thank you.